Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> and, uh, and also thank you for this uh, amazing uh, organization. I am talking here, evidently as a professor of general and a uh, member of the CAO platform, but uh, also evidently I talk also as a member of the YAC community, and let me see that I am very proud <laughs> of this uh, fantastic event. And uh, thank you very much for, uh, uh, thank you to the, to the YAC uh, staff that has been fantastic. Um, it's true that uh, when uh, we found the YAC 15, 20 years ago, also with Andy, with Willy, with other people, we were in this moment convinced, uh, with, also with other colleagues in the world, and also uh, uh, of uh, the evidence of a change of paradigms in the architecture and the urban culture. Beyond uh, the routine, you saw the routine of the postmodernity, also why not the melancholy of the, if you want, also the, the manieries of the postmodernity, we were convinced of the emergency of a new and more complex uh, and advanced knowledge uh, linked with uh, the progress of the di digitalization and the capacity uh, to process information. But also, and especially with the capacity to interact and to interactivate information in between people, environments, uh, contexts, spaces. And this combination, information and interaction, and why not interchange, is the big revolution of our era and of this new knowledge and this new thinking in architecture and in cities. And uh, in these 20 years, it's sure that we have a lot of adventures, cultural, scientific, uh, uh, and why not intellectual, in the research of this new advanced uh, knowledge. Uh, explorations that are linked with the own evolution of the digital and informational technologies, but also with the own evolution of our social sensibilities and cultures. No? And now, Evidently, we are, I am proud because we are not uh, talking here as a kind of uh, radical visionaries uh, as in the 90s, but uh, as an implicate researchers to the, together, associated with this new interactive and informational advanced, or if you want, responsive adventure. And in this sense, uh, I'm sorry because uh, this is clear that uh, I was talking about this, uh, the, the fast. Uh, the few decades uh, have confirmed the evidence of uh, this spectacular change, not only of scale, but of paradigms of our cities huh? and our habitats, uh, and linked with the current increase in mobility, long distance uh, communication, the localization, and changes, etc. But also, and especially, with the capacity to process complex and digital parameters of information. We experiment, we experiment, uh, experiment every day the explicit expression of our urban trading and sharing environments and our own societies, societies as this is a mistake that always there, <laughs> as a, a simultaneous, dynamic, plural, and informational systems, diversified and irregular system, heterogeneous, open, variable, undisciplined, non-linear, complex, and definitely interactively different. <coughs> And the assimilation of this global and holistic capacity of informational interaction that was not possible for the classical order or for the modernist order, and also for the postmodernist uh, uh, calligraphy, but for today it's possible with the new tools that we have, is one, and I think perhaps the best great social and cultural revolution of our time. I don't have the idea. I must be short, uh, but it's true that we have a lot of revolutions in the change of paradigms of the condition of subjection and stability, we pass to the condition of dynamicity and interaction. The geometries that were close and regular now are open and irregular. The models that were linear or defined, deterministic now are non-linear fluctuant and indeterminate. The order, the idea of order that was formal and compositional now is informational and dispositional. And the notion of form Take today is uh, uh, transforming in the notion of process. Also, you say uh, identity performance, and why not? Performance is important. What to do? 
We are in a new change of values. The instruments of the disciplines are changing. The instruments of the schools, the instruments of the old disciplines seems not very well prepared to the change. And we try to explore. I don't try to hear because it's not that speaks today. But I think that in the 30 year, uh, last dec uh, years, the urban cultures have tried to answer to this disorientation and disorientation of the urban disciplines with applying four models or three models. The first, the revisionistic model. Ah, I don't know, the thing is so complex. We come back to the past, we come back to the history, uh, we try to work with the recuperation of reference, the evocation, the composition. The second, more or less in parallel, the, develop the developistic model, the infrastructuralistic model, the extension, the crawl, uh, the objectualization of the cities, no? the standardization of the reference and the expansion of the structuration. And the third, the economicistic model, more, more linked with the urban marketing, the management, the objectualization, the iconography, the trademark, the branding, etc. All these models, we have explored this in 20 uh, years from 90s to today. No? But we know, you know, uh, we know that for the, with these models, we can't answer to the uh, challenges that are uh, uh, starting to transform our cities and our societies. And this morning, we had a lot of expressions of these changes. So I don't turn here. The model is revisionistic, the slogan coming back to the traditional city, the model developistic, materialistic, and structuralistic towards to the metropolitan dream, and perhaps the model economicistic, or eventive, or iconic, or objectualistic, the city as a trademark. This is a kind of situation. The cities are in a kind of folding, applying these kind of models that are not linked with the research of this new informational, interactive, responsive, uh, era, and evidently we need to apply, perhaps not a model, a logic, I prefer this, uh, that try to be pronistic, prospectivistic, advanced or informational, trying to work with the advanced urban prospection and urban innovation, and this is the thing that we are doing today, sharing questions, uh, researchers, uh, doubts that we have to explore these uh, new cities, but with the idea of prospection, of project, of horizon. The idea of information and interaction, the idea of reactivity and relationability as topics of this new situation, and this idea of a reactive and interactive strategies, open data processes for empathic and responsive cities. Perhaps the slogan, or perhaps not the slogan, the criteria is exploring new responsive and interactive environments. The big transformation, we talk about it, the city is not more a form, or a form of forms, is more a system or a system of systems. And the city is now a dynamic and informational, now understand, understood as a dynamic and informational system of relations and interactions. Layers and networks of real and virtual, of material and immaterial, of informations and relations. Layers and networks, real and virtual, material and immaterial, of informations, interactions and relations. Uh, Ten years ago, we tried to do this kind of manifesto, and perhaps the key words of this new advanced knowledge were the idea of to explore the dynamicity, evolutivity, the complexity, the simultaneity, the diversity, the plurality, the transversality, the connectivity, and the interaction, the interchange of our uh, new era, of our new societies, of our, our new environments and context. I don't want to hear. So, Work in progress, uh, DM, I can show you another thing, but if the 20th century tried to work with these paradigms, uh, the historical cities, the compositional urban approach, the modern cities, the planning urban approach, the postmodern cities, the calligraphic urban approach, so 70s, 80s, etc., there is a new change linked with the digitalization, the informational era, the capacity to compute, the capacity to simulate, etc., I don't have that here. The first step, more or less in the duration, is the capacity to understand the city as an irregular, uh, a fractal uh, geometry. It's a question of geometry, probably, at the, at the beginning, exploring a new configuration, irregularity, discontinuity. The second step is the complexity of the city, complexity, transversality, exploring a new representation and recognition, uh, 
the multi-developer urban approach, etc. The network city, 20s, 10, 20, when we found the YAC, Metropolis, uh, uh, Hyper Catalonia, it was, was more linked with this idea of a network reciting, the connectivity, the mixicity, the idea of the uh, internet, the, 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 all these uh, approaches that were linked with the evolution of the technologies. After there, the smart and intelligent city linked with the idea of exploring a new environment, interaction with environments, and here we are in the responsive sense cities, exploring a new socio-ambiental interactivity. I like a lot responsive in sense, especially responsive. It's in Spanish, como te gusta decir, responsive and responsible, it's parecido, and this idea of reactivity, but also of responsibility, also sense, sensor and sensibility, is a thing. I think it's not different steps that are eliminating the others, but an uh, onion uh, um, scheme that is incorporating all this and trying to have new steps of exploration in this idea of informational evolutions. We uh, have uh, these uh, different steps, I don't enter here, interesting uh, the idea of this uh, first uh, uh, approach to avoid, etc., we link with the landscape, the urbanism, landscape, the void as a landscape, etc., the second, the multi-level and urban, uh, synthetic urban approach, the diagrams, the multi-level uh, uh, layers, etc., etc., the third, more linked with the strategic and integrative urban approach, is linked with the connectivity, the net networks, the uh, capacity to recite, etc., more linked with the exploration of a new organization, this was more exploration of new representation, this was about new configuration. This is more about new uh, uh, interaction with the environment, etc. And this, this new interactivity, uh, social and common, uh, this co-city that we were talking at the beginning. I think that they are not attention, for me this is the most important, tendencies or fashion things. Ah, oh, now is the responsive city. Ah, oh, now no, is the transit. No, I think there are steps of a new, a, a, a fantastic adventure with this adventure of the advanced urbanist, transversal urbanist, I don't know, the word for, for us was advanced, but we can be informational knowledge, we can talk about also, why not, interactive knowledge, it's a complex, why not, etc. Uh, I don't have that here, it's more or less the same, because already, uh, and now we are exploring all the capacities, the layers, the screens at the beginning, the interaction, the internet, the connectivity, the apps, the real-time data, the open sources, all these linked with the digitalization, the capacity to share information and to interact and conduce uh, information. We are architects, urbanists, uh, sociologists, geographers, people that like the space as a qualitative environment, and we need to orientate the things, not to formalize, not to control, not perhaps to plan, but just to orientate in a qualitative way. And for this, I am interested how to do this. Uh, how to do this with the new technologies, with the new situations that Areti or uh, other people uh, was uh, talking about, uh, etc. No? This idea of uh, uh, new communities that work with new interfaces, etc. Et no? 2005, uh, uh, manifestation in, uh, in Turkey, I think in Istanbul, and 2003, 13, and how the manifestation, the, the same in a geometrical terms, but not in a capacity of relations and of interactions in global and local situations. And how to, how to combine virtual and management uh, situations, if we're strategical and sensual, physical, and if you want, uh, special, uh, 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 environments, uh, because as an architect we work also with the space, with the quality, with the ambiences, with the atmospheres, with, why not, the plasticity of the things. For me this is very important also, to explore these two levels of information. Well, we try to do all this in the YAC, evidently, but in the YAC, but in other people, with other people, with other networks, with other, uh, uh, how to explain, communities uh, that are convinced of this change of paradigms, and in this sense, I think that the cow is one of these networks uh, of uh, platforms of exchange that for us are very important. No? Well, I was preparing all this and already say me, no, you must talk, you must talk about Brazilian. <laughs> Sorry, no, all this uh, is not your tema, your, your tema is Brazilian. It's true, I will explain, it's true. 
I was preparing this, these novels, and to be sincere, absolutely incredible, no? Uh, the terrible thing in uh, Amatrice, I am full professor in, in Italy, in Genova, you can imagine that for me it's not easy to, uh, to, to, to have this uh, situation uh, evidently in the world, but also very close of, uh, of uh, our communities, no? Italy uh, talks about the, the few prevention, the malicious seismic, etc., etc., no? You have seen all these images, all the August. It seems a little conventional to talk about it, but so for us it has been very important. All these uh, pictures that we know. But it's not just the only. L'Aquila, 2009. Le Marche, no? Finale Emilia in 2012. So headquarters in all Italy and the difficult to work with these situations in a civilized and European uh, context. No? This is the, the spine, the dorsal uh, spine of uh, risk in uh, health quarters in Italy. You have all these uh, diagrams that we are working, and uh, you understand that this is a, a high, high, high degree linked with uh, the fire, uh, the Mediterranean fire. But not only headquarters, in Italy, Alluvion floods, Genova, 2014. Genova, Genova resiste, no? Resiste with a lot of difficulties. Landslides, Gian Pileri, uh, Sicilia, uh, flood and landslides. And the same, practically the same, eh? because it's very it's logical. Eh? The practically the same spine also, and the situations of flood risk and, um, and uh, slight, uh, land, uh, very linked with the, the, the flood. And here you have, in Italy, I enter only in Italy, evidently we are working in all the world and we, we, this is a global phenomenon, absolutely global phenomenon, it was there uh, Maita talking about it, but just to show the Italy, here the high risk in Italy of her workers, the high risk of floods, the high risk of uh, frowning. It seems that there, there is no risk. There is other risk, that is the CO2, the pollution, the contamination, the footprint uh, effect linked with all this. No? Milano, uh, all the north, that we will work with this uh, environmental pollution. No? And why not? Also in these cities, in Paris, in Milano, etc., the gettification, the suburbialization. We were talking also, also a session talks about this, uh, and, and, and a lot of people, no? The capacity in Calais, in Calais, to have this kind of situations with the immigration, no? with the refugees, we don't know how to answer there. And uh, this kind of situation for the camp, uh, refugee camp in, uh, in Calais, no? And also slums, favelas, self-organized habitats, a kind of spontaneous urban new geology that is emerging in the... And uh, we, the good thing that I understand that we don't change in these thematics as in the 60s or 70s with a kind of regenerative or redemption uh, mural. We enter with a more informational and informal mural that is able to understand that in all the things that are very conflicts, but there are, there are potentials also. And this is very important also for us. No? This is the map of the high-level uh, vulnerable areas in the world. Also here in Europe, you have vulnerable areas linked with the uh, natural catastrophes, it's true. Uh, sorry. So, and uh, the uh, vibration of the um, um, different uh, uh, evolution of the natural uh, uh, natural uh, risks in uh, the last century. Well, we try to do, uh, and we say, well, yes, it's true, and all, in all this situation, the technologies, the advanced uh, approach, the um, informational data have some role. I think yes, because I believe in the creativity, I believe in the progress, and also I believe in the proactivity. <coughs> We tried to organize uh, in the CAO uh, the next symposium. The next symposium, uh, the first was in the YAG, yeah, it's responsive cities. The next is uh, MedNet uh, Resilience. 
And this word, resilience, ref, <laughs> is talking about intelligent cities and resilient landscapes, or if you want, about resilience and intelligence together. We start with uh, MedNet at the beginning, I don't turn there here. The MedNet is a uh, different uh, meetings that we organized in Genova. The first was about uh, the multi-cities in the Mediterranean. The, sec the second was more about the tourism and the, the pressure in the, in the cities of the coast. And here, now, we have this idea of resilience and intelligence. And Areti said, ah, explain this. Evidently, it was a kind of trapola, kind of trap. But it's possible to explain. Evidently, I now I understand that intelligent cities talk about sensorizing, capacity of relations, um, smart uh, cities, but in a high degree with networks, etc., etc. But if we enter in the intelligence key capacities, we have five parameters for the intelligence. The intelligence: processing capacity, analytical and conceptual; adaptive capacity, evolutionary, flexible, and reversible. Operational capacity, creative, reactive, and proactive, progress, if you want. Transversal capacity, connective and strategic. And relational capacity, emotional, empathic, and interactive. These are the five topics to understand uh, an intelligent, intelligent environment. But for the resilience, for the resilience, we have five topics also, or five parameters. Anticipation, adaptation, resistance, integration, recuperation. And in fact, it's fantastic, no? Because in fact, when we talk about anticipation, we are talking about processing capacity, or we are having a part of intelligence in resilience, that is the processing capacity and analytical and conceptual. The adaptation, evidently, is adaptive capacity. The resistance is the capacity to have operational capacities and reactive capacities. The integration is the capacity to have transversal connective and strategic uh, capacities, and the recuperation is this capacity to have relational, emotional, empathy, and interactive capacity. And we have these relations, not direct, but indirect, mm -hmm. linking with this capacity that the intelligence is the capacity to select, uh, to have a choose between, intus between and ledger, try to uh, in between, and resilient, the capacity to jump in back. No? And if we have this, perhaps we have the answer to that as an architect in this very difficult, conflictive, and uh, absolutely, how to spell it, stressing situation of our cities. I talk as an architect. I'm not talking as a manager, politician, economist, it's an answer that I respect a lot. But as an architect, I need to qualify our habitat. I need to understand that we are working not only as a managers, but as a how to say, projectors, projectors of visions. And this was the thing of the, uh, also of the cow. And in this sense, these uh, elements are linked also with the urban topics, mapping, managing, planning, designing, landing, and socializing, that are linking with the urban actions. We talk about it. It's interesting because evidently when we work about resilience and intelligence, or resilience, we have the capacity to anticipate, <laughs> I am finishing, to anticipate with processing capacities, working with mapping and planning, and Mario was talking about it, with intentional, tendential, manipulate also uh, maps to work with strategies and uh, with dynamic uh, uh, situations. That are here, different maps, different capacities today to work with dynamic and evolutionary maps. As in the YAG, we have explored a lot this idea of uh, data maps, open data sources, the capacity to work, a new recognition to anticipate, process, map, and plan. But we have also the capacity of adaptation, no? adaptability, adaptive capacities, working with the idea of planning and managing, the capacity to have the provision of different situations in the time and the capacity of a system to adapt itself to different processes of, for example, in this case of a fluke situation, no? or in this case of a fluke situation also. No? Or in this sense, of a public space is able to change with the different uh, situations of uh, flood, rain, etc., etc. No? Capacity adaptation, etc., linking with the capacity of planning and managing. The capacity of resistance, the capacity of an environment to resist the growth to continue to preserve itself, managing and landing 
uh, working with reactive and proactive operational capacities, for example, in the Eleon Mass Park in Athens, or in this project of George Rodin at Rapolis in Al, working to, uh, with the urban and the natural at the same time, with the, uh, the, um, the, the very artificial and the why not more slow, etc. etc. Or this more simple working with the design uh, to have a, a resistance operational capacity for the noise or for the fluid with a little operations that are able to be resistant and operational and adaptative, why not, at the same time. Integration, the capacity to have transversal synthetic and collective uh, uh, um, um, systems in between and to overlap all this in a orientation, a, a client, clear orientation, planning and designing. Why not here, integration for have a new networks of uh, green strings in the city, or in the uh, to have a new uh, uh, operation who is able to have a land, uh, landscape operation at the same time, a real uh, time uh, virtual address. I am finished. And the last, recuperation. Relational capacities, emotional, empathic, interactive, managing and socializing, and by not designing, working with the capacity to have an autoesteem urbana, an emotional new uh, elements, working in a very difficult situation with a kind of, if you want, naivete, like this uh, 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 possibility to uh, have an uh, empathic and interactive uh, operations. In the public space, uh, you were showing the, the projects of the YAG in the, in the Super Manzana, this idea of uh, uh, managing, socializing new relational environments that are more dynamic, etc., etc., no? and more open to the change and also more interactive, not only forms, not only designs, but interfaces, devices of interactivity. Evidently, in other terms, this more a strategic operation, as you know in Highline, to have a recuperation area, but a, a recuperation of the center, a reciting, a reverse a recycle that is also doing a recuperation of the autoesteem of Vanna. All these, also these little elements in uh, uh, all the fabrics, or all the using, the public space, as you know, and the capacity to enjoy and to have a lot of new possibilities of creativity in a new public space that is not only monumental or uh, evocative or representative, but not only functional uh, uh, as in the modernism era, but interactive, open, informal and changing. We talk about all these and uh, with a lot of more examples, we try to work with uh, stress, risks, and situations of conflict with a proactive and propositive approach. And perhaps this is the intelligence to adapt itself to the problems, but at the same time to be able to continue to believe in the future and to believe in the creation of ourselves. No? This is the, uh, the last images, uh, the meeting that we are preparing, resilience, the different uh, elements of this meeting. But I don't have that here. You have this in the, in also in the, in the web, and all the participants. And I hope that it will be more or less so interesting that this environment that we are uh, enjoying all together together.